Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode here of Building Big and Factorio, and I am actually joined by a special guest here, Jackalope. Hello, everyone. So, uh, so yeah, this is uh, part of what I've discussed previously. I'm going to be inviting some of the viewers in uh, to help out with the factory and stuff, and Jackalope is the first here, and over the next few episodes, I'll get some more people in here. So, uh, yeah. We we did a little bit of work. He uh I guess first of all, show off your science build here. Um pretty awesome. Yeah. It just takes one core assembler and one coil assembler to four red science assemblers. It looks like a mess, but it's really good for robotics. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a perfect ratio and uh, once I get robotics, as he said, I'll just replace these chests with logistic ones and uh, get rid of this setup here and use that, and it will be be much better. So very cool. I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> and I think first off, if you want, we can uh, we'll go take out this base up here to mm -hmm. the east because, uh, as you can see, it's causing some attacks, which kind of sucks. Well, at least we have turrets now. Yeah, exactly. Oh god. Please don't, don't get this train. Nope. <laughs> that would be bad. I've already died once. Although, not to the train, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> not yet, at least. Ooh, we've got, bi we've got biters up top. Already. Oh, yeah. So I'm making just a couple turrets here. I think just like two should be enough. Um, it's nighttime, which kind of sucks. Oh, dear. Well, at least they're still only small biters. Yeah, exactly. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. So, this will probably show how much of a noob I am. I didn't know that your turrets recolored themselves in multiplayer. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends on who's the leader of the force, I think. Because if I make a turret, like, I plop down a turret, it's red. And okay. That, that's one I made, but since you're the leader of the group... Right. Interesting. Ooh, bad... How big? Oh, uh, small worm? Alright. Small worm, get the turret in there to soak. Get wrecked. So yeah, um, turret creep, kinda OP. <laughs> kinda? Yeah, a little more than kind of. Uh, but if we look at the map here, that should take care of... Uh, well, actually there's a base down here if you want to go uh, straight south. It's sure. getting hit. Mm -hmm. Um. Avoid this clump of worms down here, though. I think they're all, like, big worms. Uh. Yeah, so they can just chill in the pollution until I get better equipment. And, uh, and yeah, so... I haven't done much with blue science stuff since last episode. Uh, I We did set up the train station, though, uh, for copper. I brought it in over here. And it's being loaded in, or unloaded rather, so pretty good. And let's see. Ooh. Easy. And I think. Okay. The that next is? one that's going to get. Well, there's one to the southwest that's getting a little pollution but right and I mean a couple of these are going to be soon which is not good but mm -hmm. if only and... it was Half-Life 3 soon say again? if only it was Half-Life oh. 3 soon yeah <laughs> then it would never happen right and big watch out Whoa. where am I going Oh, that was almost really bad. 
I'm like looking at other stuff. <laughs> it's a good thing you can't move your character while on the mini map, while zoomed out on the map. Oh, no kidding. I would die so much doing that. Mm hmm. Alright, so I have some flamethrower stuff being made because we need to clear out this forest and it made like hardly any. Great. Uh, yeah, so there's a forest over here we need to clear out because I think that's going to be where the blue science stuff is made. And the batteries are doing nothing, obviously, because there's no iron and copper, which means it's stop. Great. Mm -hmm. Alright, so flamethrowers actually are potentially not the best option to clear trees. I mean, they're okay. I think poison is potentially better, but we don't have it yet. Right. Because that requires blue science. Yeah, great. I mean, this looks pretty cool, though, so... Yeah. And I think the devs have teased that they're trying to get some flame spread mechanics. Oh, yeah. That so would be set, really cool. Yeah, you set fire to one part of the forest and it spreads, and you have to do a whole Smokey the Bear thing and try and contain it sometimes. Oh, yeah. It would be really cool if it, like... I know a lot of people suggested that it, like, catch biters on fire, too. That That'd would be, be cool. fun. And I'm almost out. Oh, I am out of fuel. Great. My turn. That made... Yeah, your turn. That made, like, no dent. <laughs> Oops. Uh, note to self. Don't stand so close, otherwise you damage yourself. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to avoid. And it's harder for me to do because I'm lagging a little. Yeah, you have like a half second lag or something. Ow. Ow. Are there any fish? Can we use the uh, flame floor to cook them? That'd be nice. So right now I'm just kind of ow 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 ow. So six. yeah, I just got down to one sixth. Um. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe fl flame throw is not the best idea when you're lagging. No. Hey, have some ammo. St get back over here. I think this will work. There. Yep. Sweet. Okay, so, oh dear, that does hurt belts. Let's not do that again. Ooh. Huh. Alright, I mean, this is almost big enough. Just want to clear a little route here for the belts. And, uh, need to haul a lot of iron and copper down to these batteries because it's holding up the production of this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well. Hmm. I mean, we could just belt it, but I just want to get, like, enough, because I just want to turn this warehouse into a logistics one, or a requester. Right. And then let's just make it easier. Let's see. Yep. Those are researched already. Yeah, unfortunately we can't make them, though. Right. All right, enough tree chopping. So my inventory is completely full with junk, <laughs> per usual. Of course. So I'm gonna go dump off some of this ore and then pick up a whole ton of iron and copper. Copper should be good now for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to drop off some ore as well. I have no idea how it got in my inventory. <laughs> it seems to just always get in there, somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Control click. There. And do you have a place you're setting up alien artifacts? Um, I don't 
Uh, I think I'm just keeping them in my inventory. You can put them in a box, uh... Put them in a box, like here. Or I won't miss them. Okay. And then I'll do another box to get rid of some junk. Don't want all that. Mm-hmm. Um, don't need those. Don't need random walls. Alright. Oh, that's the flamethrower. Oh, no. Yeah, don't press C. <laughs> I didn't know I had the flamethrower still equipped. Whoops. Maybe this is why it's not so used. Yeah, probably. It's quite dangerous. Mm-hmm. You... You have a couple assembling machines here. Why? Um, it's uh, spacing for a whole nother circuit setup. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, because otherwise I'd like forget I was going to do something there. Alright, so we'll go dump this off, and uh, if we look here, we need... Well, one thing we could work on, actually, is we need advanced circuits. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's something we both know how to do that we could probably yeah. work on together without confusing each other. <laughs> I don't know. I might confuse you on this one. Because I... There's a build you had in a video a while ago where it was this one copper cable assembler surrounded by an octagon of eight advanced oh. circuit assemblers. Right, yeah, that's like, I think that's a setup for logistics, mostly. Well, yeah, but it can be made to work with belts. True. Uh, um, it's supposedly called a fish sandwich build or something? Yeah, that I think fish sandwich kind of came up with it, but it's been adapted quite a lot since then. Mm-hmm. Um, now, we're going to want to do, like, because we want them, I want them to go back on the bus, some of them. But then we're going to need some directly for these sensor arrays. So, uh, probably like half and half or so. Half should be sent back on the bus for other things, and then half go to these sensor arrays. Okay. Um, so, however we set it up, we might want to do like... I forget. The octagon one, does it have eight? Assemblers? It should, right? Yeah. Eight red circuit. Oh, well, I don't remember. I mean, do you remember how to set it up? Because I don't. I do. I remember. Okay. Well, let's use that one. Um, let's put it... Uh, we'll need to leave room because I want a line of labs on this side as well. Okay. Um, so we can put it, like, anywhere in here and then build the other stuff, like, down in this area or something. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the edge. Although we have to figure out how to get it back on the bus part of it. Mm-hmm. That should be interesting, because there's, like, all kind of stuff in the way. Uh, yeah, that should be fun. <laughs> well, it need what's it? It needs plastic circuits and copper. Yep. Well, we could actually, maybe we should build it, like, lower, like, in here somewhere, or over here. Um, just lower so that we can just put it on the bus without weaving it through all this other crap. Right. So, I'll run some of these resources down that we're going to need. Well, do you want it, like, to the right of these engines, or below the engines, then, or...? Um, we could either do it below the engines, or just kind of over to the right in this area. Either works, really. Oh, uh, yeah. We just need to get plastic down here somehow. Yeah. Plastic. Which, again, later on can be logistics, but for now... Let's see, you've got some... Well, it is also possible to have the advanced circuit build have its own plastic chemical plant. True. Um, I've already set aside some, though. These two up top. Oh, okay. 
So we just need to somehow get. Well, these if over those there. two are already set aside, then maybe we could just pull one of them off and then transport the. Uh, oh, pipe need two. Hmm? Well, you only need one chemical plant for each eight. Yeah. Do you want sixteen then, or do you want just the um, one set well, up? Well, typically for now? I do go sixteen. Oh, okay. But I mean, really, it's a, it's an exact one to one ratio, one chemical plant to eight advanced circuits. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, two should be good. So we just need to run these over there somehow. I guess just kind of. <laughs> oh God, because we need to get these down there. Uh, I guess we could just go full on spaghetti here. Uh, that. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really hurt anything. No, it doesn't. Alright, um... Yeah, so we can just bring it down. Because we do need to get circuits and copper over here. Yeah. I mean, if we don't mind running the plastic a long way, we could just set it up. Just, I guess, over here would work. Yeah. Well, make it sixes and go right in between. Or, well, no, make it closer to the left because that's where the circuits and the copper are. Right. And then we'll just stick... Um, we'll do two octagon builds, and then one will just be sent to the bus, and then one will be for the science stuff. Sounds good. Isn't there a bulldozer mod or something? Uh, there was. I think it's been abandoned for a long time. I wish it wasn't, though. Yeah, that would be handy right here. Yeah, no kidding. Well, at least we get to watch the flame animations. Oh, yeah. I don't even remember what the old ones were like. I don't think they were very good, though. Probably not. But they worked. And that's all, oh, yeah. you, that's all that you really need in an alpha build. True. Staying away from you? Staying away from you. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Alright. So I'll just run circuits and stuff through here. And, oh, you're not making inserters. Oh. Not yet. I've been distracted. <laughs> um, now I forget for the octagon build, do the circuits and copper go on one belt or separate? Uh, the circuits and the plastic go on one belt. Okay, and then the copper is on the, its own. Yeah, the copper is on its own and goes into the middle. Okay. So I'll just run this through here. circuits. Wow, that's a long way to go. And I need more long-handed inserters. Yeah, we're gonna need quite a few inserters. Man, there are so many trees on this map that's really, really starting to irritate me. Mm-hmm. But hey, once you get Blue Science and Military 3, Combat Shotgun! Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see how many inserters. 10, 15. Now, is this stuff being made or? Probably not. Great. Always a problem. What are you talking about? This thing stopped because there's no 
sulfuric acid. Oh god. I want logistics and... so bad. <laughs> and there's no sulfuric acid because there's no iron. Yep. Alright, yeah, so this metal dude is gonna be copper, if I can find the dang thing. Uh. Mm hmm. Alright, so that's gonna go like that. I need to go get more iron. And, uh. Hopefully, we can get this done here. Hmm. I'm just kind of researching whatever till blue. <laughs> yeah. I'm... All right. It's possible to either run the circuits and plastic on the inside or the outside but the outside works a little better because just oh okay. the lag the lag ah <laughs> yeah just plonking them in here um well then we can run it on the outside i mean whatever works better now where does the copper get its thing from though the that little cable, I mean. Where does it get his copper from? You can run copper like that and just okay. use an underground belt here. Right, and then... Okay, so then that exports... Interesting. I like this. <laughs> and there's that. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then, then we just need the stuff. Bring the circuits over. I don't know exactly how you want this because we need the plastic. Somehow. Yeah. Well, we basically you need to sideload the plastic and the circuits into one belt, and then right. just run it around the outside. Oh man, these belts are so messy. <laughs> <laughs> and I like wanted to try not to do horrible spaghetti stuff in this factory, but I really messed that goal up. Eh, makes it more interesting. Yeah. Well, at least, at least I don't have a copper problem anymore. That was that was becoming a pretty big issue. Yeah, but now iron is the issue. Well, kind of. I mean, it's not bad. The belt's pretty backed up. At least for now. Yeah. Now, can this side load right onto here? I don't. No, so. no, no, it can't. Yeah, I didn't think so, but. Yeah, you do whatever you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm not thinking so straight today. Yeah, I need to actually open up a. I've got a picture of it somewhere. Okay. And I just need to open it up, and there we go. Because now we're going to want this to go... Uh, we're going to want this to go to another one as well, right? So mm -hmm. maybe we want to merge it, and then send it in the other the well, way, too. That's a, another thing this build can do. Oh, darn, I need more iron. Um All 
What I'm gonna do is this is gonna be it's gonna be kind of funky, but I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> yeah, doing it like that will work. Yeah, and no, then we can just send it boat. Mm -hmm. Now, and a right little that. trick that can be done with this copper is run an underground belt there and continue it on. Wow, perfect. Okay, so then, yeah, this we can just split so that one goes to this one and then one goes over here. I assume you managed to find your picture. Yes, I did. Accidentally clicked on electric poles instead of inserters to craft. Oh god. <laughs> There's those. There's... Okay, all eight. I'm gonna go ahead and make some electric poles. Stick them in here. Nice and symmetrical, that's what I love. <laughs> The OCD is too strong. Yeah. <laughs> A train? I don't know. Which one's stuck now? No fuel. Great. I always forget to fuel the damn trains. Whoops. Yep, whoopsie. Yes, I know, game. <laughs> I'll have to fix that in between episodes. Alright, so... It's gonna go around. This one's being sent through. Perfect. And then this one can just go to a duplicate. These guys come out. And we'll send it back on the bus. Wow, awesome. And now I need to make more assemblers. Oh, yeah. We should uh, probably automate those. Uh, hello, power problems? Oh, God. Are we out of coal? We must be. Something happened. Something very bad happened. Well, it wasn't a biter attack, thankfully, but... We must be out of fuel. Somehow. Is a fuel train the one that's out of fuel? <laughs> yep, of course it is. Oh, the irony. Well, I had it being fuel, too, which is... Well, I think this is a good time to end the episode. We're at, like, 30 minutes anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, always problems. Uh, fix it off-screen here, but... As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and thank you, Jackalope, for joining me. You're welcome. And, uh... Yeah, I look forward to seeing you all, and take care. Bye-bye, everyone.